Welcome to Ohai! In this video, I'm sharing with you tons of helpful tips and seven ideas of things to do when you're planning your own trip. And if you're new here, yo, I'm Christine Lozada with Where in the World is Seattle? And I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and get travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. I've been to Ojai several times now. It's somewhere my family loves to go. Let's dive in with the first thing you gotta do when you're here, which is... Can I tell you the real reason why I absolutely love Ojai? It's the wine. I love drinking wine. And Ojai is a really great place to visit the wineries. There are so many vineyards in the area. Right now I'm at Topa Mountain Winery. Oh, fantastic spot for, they have some indoor seats, but mainly outdoor seating. Come here on a beautiful day, like the day I'm here today, and have some wine. Ojai itself is pretty small. It's only 10 miles by three miles, but it has about a half dozen wineries that you can visit with several of them being right in downtown. So especially if you're riding a bike and we'll talk more about that later, it's so easy to just pop in and do a tasting at each of these vineyards. What's cool about this winery is they have food as well and also non-alcoholic drinks. So I'm here with my nephew and my non-drinking DDs. And so it's a great place Place to come and they allow you to bring food in. So we brought our Ojai Tortilla Factory, Ojai Tortilla House, Ojai Tortilla, the tortilla place, delicious burritos to this spot and ate our burritos and drank some wine. Pardon the interruption. We gotta talk about this place really quick because you cannot miss a visit to this spot, which is located right in downtown Ojai. You know you found it because there's a long line of people standing outside waiting for their turn. And let's talk about where we are. Um, we are at the Ojai Tortilla House. We love this place. Yep, best tacos in Ojai. What are you gonna get? Um, a steak burrito. I'm gonna get a steak burrito. The steak burrito is magical and Topa Mountain Winery lets you bring in food like I mentioned, but make sure you check the info at the other wineries because that's not the case everywhere. The other thing that's really cool about this spot is that if you're biking in, it's a really great and easy place right along the trail so you can park your bike and come in to have a drink. They have a really great selection of wines. Do not miss this spot. It's a really beautiful spot to come in for a wine tasting. Make sure you make a reservation. More info is in the description below. And last night, we also had an opportunity to go wine tasting. I mean, to be honest, we did our road trip up from San Diego and went straight to the winery. And we did a wine tasting and wow, the staff was so attentive. Super nice staff that spent a lot of time talking about their wines. Beautiful wine tasting room. They do have indoor and outdoor seating. We were a little bit cold because we were there at the end of the day. Make sure you check their hours. We arrived right in time for their last seating at 4.45. 5 p.m. but make reservations and come in for a wine tasting at this spot as well. Woo! Wine tasting. Oh hi. This is the place to do it. One of the things that you have to do in Ojai is oh <laughs> One of the things you have to do in Ojai is take a hike. There's a lot of hiking trails here, and it was, to be honest, kind of difficult to pick one. But the one I chose this morning is the popular Shelf Road. It's, it's a good one because it's not that hard. Actually, in fact, it's easy. It's a little bit of a rolling, kind of like rolling up and down, but you're literally going along the shelf of a mountain. And so it's not necessarily a difficult hike, but it does branch off a lot into a lot of other hikes if you're looking for something a little bit more strenuous. But this was an easy three and a half mile out and back. And I came here early this morning with my parents. This is my dad. <laughs> Ready with your camera. Okay, my camera ready to take crappy pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and she's gonna send them all to me. And I love using the All Trails app to make sure I'm going the right way. Part of the reason why I chose this hike is because 
I, <laughs> you can't really get lost on this hike. I knew it was a well taken care of road, so it was easy to navigate. And the other thing is you got views the entire time. So we're looking down at the valley and it was, it, there really are some really nice views here. But we saw a ton of people on the trail. So this is definitely one of the busier trails. If you're looking for more of a challenge, make sure you check out the All Trails app. I'll link all of that info, including the hike that I did below. But this three and a half mile hike took us about, took us about an hour and a half going kind of slow and taking breaks to drink water and stuff. So a pretty easy one, but a great way to start the morning. If you're looking for a faster way to get around, one of the things that Ojai is known for is their amazing bike trail. The Ojai Valley Bike Trail runs nine miles. It's parallel to Highway 33, taking you all the way from Ojai to Ventura. It's a really great ride. Check out my other video for tons of details about it, because I tell you everything you need to know over there. If you're looking for a place to stay, Ojai is filled with so many different charming places to stay at. In the past, I've stayed at Airbnbs. The popular place most people think of is Ojai Valley Inn, a little bit more on the pricier side. I just wanted something super basic. So I'm here at Chantico Inn and I got one heck of a steal on this room. So it was perfect because again, I was just here for one night, needed a place to lay my head before this morning's adventure actually. But it's a place I would recommend if you're here for a short time. It's definitely seen better days, but it's a very charming little spot and well located right within Ojai. And you wanna know what's nearby that's super convenient? Really awesome coffee. Right next door is a really, really great coffee place, which is Beacon's Coffee. And I got a flat white, super delicious, a really great place to sit in. Their pastries were very difficult to say no to. I don't know how I said no to that. I'll be regretting that, but Beacon's Coffee, right next door. Another spot worth checking out is the Duchess. This is a coffee spot and breakfast by day, but in the afternoon and evening, they're serving up Burmese food. And so when you come here in the morning, you got a great selection of pastries. They have a ton of seating inside. They have like a back room and a back back room area and a couple seats out front. So come in, have a cup of coffee, consider having some pastries and hang out in the morning. How's your coffee? Strong. No room, what's that? Here's a spot to consider eating at in Ojai, and it's this little Italian restaurant that's kind of at the end of downtown. And this spot has daily specials that you gotta make sure you do not miss because they're changing all the time. Make reservations. This spot's super small, has indoor and outdoor seating, and it was a really great spot to have dinner with my family. This was a surprising one for me to read about, but tennis is huge in Ojai and they have a lot of tennis competitions here so you can find a lot of really great tennis courts all around here or all the rage is pickleball. I'm at their location that has open play right now over by the city hall area. Links in the description below to find that map stuff really easily. But uh, we're out here playing pickleball and it's a really nice day. The courts are really nice. Ojai really is a cute and quaint place to stay for a couple of days. If you have suggestions on other things to do, please add them in the comments below and check out the blog post in the description for even more ideas. And if there's one thing that you might consider, it might be staying here in a different kind of way. My sister loves to stay at Caravan Outpost, which is just along the bike trail and is vintage trailers. So check that one out as well. And if you're curious about somewhere nearby, which is Ventura, and seeing the vintage trailer that we stayed in over here at the Airstream Park at Waypoint, come join me in the next video about all the things to do in Ventura, and I'll see you over there. Ciao.